It just never gets old. I just love the sound these things make. So what's left inside, like humidity and makes soda that's left inside, sizzles and crackles and pops. They're cooking bacon. Except it smells like beer. I'm sure lots of people would like that. Beer flavored bacon. I can help I can try this. It's probably gonna do bad things. <laughs> oh, wow. It doesn't want to melt until all the stuff inside is gone. Oh, there it goes. Oh, what? That's doing some weird stuff there. It's like... Oh, wow. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't think I did that no more. I just want to see what it does. It probably impurified my aluminum to, like, no other extent. My, uh... I just opened my last bag of, uh, cans here, and these are way dry. These are, like, bone dry. And they're, they're doing something a little, a little different here. At least the last few I uh, threw in there did. They poof! They, it's like the air inside catches fire. And, let's see if this one does it. Come on. Poke. Poke. Oh, you're not going to poof on me. Oh, okay. Let's try another one. Here. Try another. If this vault one will do it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Really weird. Not exactly sure why I want to do this, but Pokemon fans, I wish you had turn away, turn away right about now. Ever see a Pokemon card in molten aluminum? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh well, the card was worthless anyway. Bad, very bad condition. Couldn't help myself. Oh, I just wasted half of it. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Oh, well. I don't exactly have the uh, proper tools to be doing with, <laughs> doing foundry type work here. Making best with what I could and what I got. Huh. About 10, 20 minutes. It'll cool down. <laughs> oh, I got a little mini fire. was hot. I also did this little pour. This is pretty much nothing more than bullion, or if I ever need little aluminum bars that size. And, uh, didn't realize I'm not going to be able to get this out quite so easily. Well, at least efficiently. I won't be able to reuse that mold or be able to, yeah. I guess it comes down to this, doesn't it? Nice. That is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I just picked that up with my hand, threw it in a bucket. It's a little warmer. I got my pliers for this one. Oh, 
nasty looking water now. And check that out. Aluminum bars. Pretty pure form. Oh, pure than the junk I had in that pan there, which is now sitting in the I'm desperate enough to needing aluminum. I'll resort to that. So then I'll use the uh, pure recycles, recyclables, little nuggets and stuff I spilled. Aluminum bars. If anything, if all it sells, then you just take it to a scrapyard, sell it, and rebuy, <laughs> rebuy it in a pure form. Oh well. Sorry, Brick, you've done your job. Let me find something to help me get the uh, slag out a little better than this little screen and a little homemade piece of metal just trying to scoop out the stuff and make something. Not looking forward to trying to get that out. Well, I guess it's time to break this one apart now. This one's going to be a little easier. A little hotter. Ooh, toasty. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Not exactly like really clean. Sandpaper will fix that right up. Oh, where's the bottom of this one? Not quite a big. My first four, so maybe it's gonna be more solid. <laughs> At least I hope. There we go. Cool them down. I don't know if quenching aluminum is the same as quenching steel. If it is, it just made my aluminum harder. <laughs> aluminum is really flexible, so if it is harder, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be all that bad. I if I can reuse that dirt later. It's very well, but I think next time I'll use sand, though. I didn't like how rough it was. It's going to be a lot of work on that to do. I'm going to do that off camera because that's going to get messy. Now that i got my stock, sorry for how loud it's being, I'm cutting the ends off. This nifty little saw. A little slow, but it's getting there. Take a while. All the uh, hot work is done. Taking and pouring them, cutting them, cutting the ends off. And now I have a nice bar of aluminum stock. And uh, a couple of slices. This is the uh, heat sink I was saying I'm trying to make. And it's a paint eight bucks for one of these. I now have about 20 or so at least worth. <laughs> There, I'm doing a day's worth of work, cutting them into little slices like this. There we go, an eight dollar, eight dollar saved there. Just got to tap the holes in it for wires, put a couple holes, thread them for uh, little nylon screws, and aluminum is not quite as good as copper, but it's still a super uh, conductor there with the uh, heat and all, so it's going to do just fine. It doesn't have this little nublet on the bottom here, but it's thicker. I'm not exactly sure what that's there for. But I do plan on putting a, uh, a computer heatsink piece there. 
make it just as efficient, if not more. Anyway, that's uh, my process, and uh, being the uh, redneckish, low-budget lightsaber builder, I guess. I mean, you can tell by my uh, tool rack there, a brick. My uh, computer supply has been converted into a, a lab unit. A soldering iron holder. That's part of the power supply casing. Yeah, so I'm cheap. Very. Most, that's the only one thing I have here that's HQ would probably be my uh, Black & Decker brand Dremel. And that's so handy. Other than that, everything's off-brand. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed.